Okay. Uh, I thought that our team played really well. Uh, I thought we came out and competed. Um, OU came out swinging the bat like they do. And uh, for us to make a phenomenal play on the relay, to throw the runner out at home to get that first out, and then Uribe settles down, gets us the next two outs. I thought it was huge coming out of that first inning, only giving up two runs in that situation. So we know that we can, uh, we're a team that can strike offensively and always felt like we were right there within reach. So I was really proud of the way we handled that. Um, I thought uh, we, we squared the ball up a lot. We, we barreled the ball up a bunch and uh, couldn't get any luck for sure. Uh, hitting it right at people, but I, I thought we did a nice job at the plate to compete. And then uh, in the inning with Caden Baker going up there and getting herself a single, and then Haley Lee doing what Haley Lee does, you know, two for three on the day. And she's a great leader for us and steps up there in a really big moment, puts us within striking distance, coming up into the seventh inning with kids up that we want up. So uh, I thought our pitchers did a really nice job. Um, you know, Herzog comes in and, and she was really efficient, kept them off balance. And then uh, Kennedy coming in and just doing a, a really great job. So uh, I like the way we competed. You know, we expected to win. We came here to win. And, um, you know, this is not some sort of moral victory for us because it was a close game. We came here to win. and. And now we got to buckle down and get after whoever wins this next game so that we have a chance to, to play OU again on, on Sunday. But right now, you know, yeah, we're talking about this game, but the second we're done talking about it, we're not going to talk about OU. We're going to talk about that next opponent and give ourselves a chance to play on Championship Sunday. Yeah, I think, you know, it's easy if you're just looking at the scoreboard and, and you don't see runs or you don't see a lot of hits. As a coach, you understand if your team is having quality at bats. You understand if you're getting barrels and how you're competing. And I thought our team competed well. You look at that first round of ABs we had, one through nine, and we had a lot of quality at bats right there. So quality at bats are the thing that get you to a point where you can strike and do what Haley did. So uh, really, you know, there wasn't one time during the game that we felt discouraged. Uh, every time we came off the field, we had a good talk about, hey, stay in your plan. Your plan is the right one. And, um, you know, let, let's get out there and get after it. And I thought our kids did a really nice job with that. You didn't see us throw away at bats really today. Yeah, I thought we, we did such a great job of getting outs when they gave us outs. You know, we took every opportunity to get an out when we had it. Um, I, the two live arms with those middle infielders, those relays that our outfielders then to our middles made phenomenal plays. I mean, those are big league plays right there. And, you know, I really believe in our talent. And I thought defensively we did everything we're supposed to do to, to keep a, an explosive team like that within reach. Yeah, I think there is momentum in terms of how we're playing the game. You know, and, and really, if you're talking about process and not outcome, then that makes sense that we can take momentum from this. And you can't be a coach who says, we have to focus on process, and then really all we're doing is focus on outcomes. And so I, I think that our team feels really comfortable right now. We're playing really good softball, and we have been for the last few weeks of the season, and our pitching staff is really locked in, and our hitters just keep competing. So you know, I know that our team will leave here mad because we didn't win, but also with confidence, we're like this is what it takes to play the game at this high level. Not as strong in the fifth, sixth, seventh as she was first or fourth, or were you just going to school on her and therefore getting better at bats? 
how did that play out? Um, we watched a lot of film on her coming into this weekend, so we kind of caught on to some picks, pitch sequences and kind of learned her thought process and her approach, and we kind of just attacked her best style. We knew she was going to come out and throw the best pitches she could, and we knew we had to jump on them early, and, and we did. We, we barreled up balls like Coach mentioned. Like, we didn't have any throwaway at bats, so we came out, attacked the stuff we knew we were going to get, and we plan to continue to do that the rest of this weekend. You know, every weekend is a is a fight. It's a grind. You know, we prepare. We learn our pitchers. We study theirs. Uh, we just come to prepare our best uh, for these games. And having played one of the toughest schedules in the SEC, like we're here. We're ready. We're ready to fight. We're ready to kind of go in the ring, whatever it takes. And I'm very proud of this team. We fought to the end, and we're going to continue to fight to the end, and I'm very proud. Coach, did you see that same kind of sign? You mentioned the lead off home run for first. Just see the team kind of rally from that number two down. What did you see from that? Yeah, what I saw from our team is maturity and that we've had to learn along the way. Our SEC schedule was the toughest of any SEC um, team. It, it, our SEC schedule being the toughest and and so just we we never played a team that finished in the bottom part of the SEC so we knew we were going to be faced with just tough pitching tough hitting and our team has done a really nice job of not getting discouraged not letting down understanding you're going to punch us and we're going to punch right back and I talked to our team a lot this morning about runs. They were going to make a run, and then we're going to push and make a run too. And you saw that happen. And I thought that you know our ability to you know bend and not break is is critical when you're trying to make a run in postseason. So that experience that we have day in and day out playing in the SEC and those teams that we played, you can't. You, there, you, there's no way you can replicate that. And, and I think it makes us a stronger team. And we've had our challenges this season, and we've just never quit. And you can see us playing our best softball right now. Coach, uh, Natty ran herself in a couple outs on the bases today because you guys executed beautifully in those moments. And I'm just wondering, yourself as an offensive coach, how do you, between sending the runner because you think they'll get there versus sending the runner because, in the name of an aggressive identity, how does, how does a coach sort of set those? Yeah. I, I think every coach has her or his own style and philosophy. And so if you're an aggressive coach, you're always aggressive. You don't, you don't hold back. That's how you play the game. That's how you coach your kids. Um, I will say that uh, I don't think people realize what a live arm Coco Woolley has. That throw that she made to home was phenomenal. I mean, I, I hope that uh, Coach Gasso and everyone else would tip their cap to Coco Woolley and understand that, yeah, she would send her kid every time in that situation. And our freshmen stepped up and made a phenomenal play. And I think when you're a coach and you're aggressive and you have a philosophy, you stick to it. And then you, you let the chips fall where they may.